right, for what you need today, you need a stapler, mm -hmm. a yellow strip of paper about six, uh, five inches. You need a marker or paintbrush with ink. You need six lysi or red envelopes. You need a hole puncher, a pair of scissors, and two pieces of yarn or string, twine, whatever you need. So we're going to start with IC packets. Take the first one, flip it over, and you are going to bring one corner and fold it over to the other side so it creates a triangle shape. And then make sure you crease it well, fold it down well. And then cut off the excess. So you don't need that part anymore. You could create a mini lantern with those pieces though. So unfold it. And now the line in the middle between those two corners, bring those corners together. So you're creating a triangle in the opposite direction. Again, fold it down, get a good crease, open it back up. You'll see that X shape in the crease. Flip it over because you want this side to be on the outside. Okay, that's going to be inside and this is going to be outside. So each corner you need to bring into the middle. Okay, so fold in each corner to the middle, that X that you made. So you're going to create four little triangles. Okay, third one. And one more. Okay, pinch down. All right. And then when you open it up, you can see that it's basically a square with four triangles on each corner. Those triangles are what we are going to join together. So now you're going to go ahead and do the rest of them for a total of six squares. All right, here we have six. Now take two and you're going to join two triangles together. And you, with your stapler, okay. Now you can see that it makes a right angle, okay. And with your stapler, go ahead and staple on that fold line all the way down. Okay, and then you're going to do this two more times. So add another one. You're making a long chain of them at first. So put those two together, line them up, and staple. Again, on that fold line. Oh, that one didn't work. Do it again. Okay, and then your last one. Again, line them up neatly and staple. Okay, then you're going to take those two ends and line those triangles up and staple them together. And it's creating a cube shape. Okay, so you can see the square. That's how you know you've done it right. So staple on that fold line. And now the other two are going to close off those ends. So the four corners are all going to be stapled. So all four triangles on both, both sides. Make sure to line it up. And just go around and staple every triangle. This one. All right, now that's one side. Flip it over to the other side, and the last one is going to fill in that area. Okay. All right, then fill it up. 
line them up and staple. And last one. And there you go, you have your lantern. If you had a different package, you could even make a design with different sides. Okay, next we are going to poke two holes. Okay, use your hole punch. Try to make it more in the middle of each triangle as best you can. This is an eyelet and a hole punch. Okay, and notice how the holes are on the opposite sides of each other so that when you hang it up, it angles nice and straight. Okay, take your one string, put it through the top hole. I like to kind of fold it into a loop and then put the loop through. It makes it easier so that the threads don't fray. And then just do a double knot. And pull tight. I like to pull both our all four pieces of string so it's nice and tight. And then you can cut off the excess ends. And that is what you can hang it up on your door with. And then next we need to write our Chinese greeting. So here's the little yellow piece of paper. We're gonna put a hole right in the top middle so we can connect it onto our lantern. And then we're gonna take our marker and we are going to write Gong Hei Fat Joy in Cantonese. Try to break each letter down into simple shapes and lines. Okay. If you just look at it in these lines, it's really not that difficult to replicate. So Cantonese is considered the traditional characters. They are a little bit more intricate than Mandarin. I am not perfect at this by any stretch of the imagination, but that's okay. It's the effort that counts here. I like to look at this one as like a seven and like a little X through the bottom of the seven and then a little five at the bottom. A little cursive R almost. And then a little X at the bottom. And then your last character it's almost like a backwards T. And there you go. So that wasn't too hard, was it? So now we're going to take our second piece of string, and first I'm going to put it through the paper, if I found that was easier. There you go. And now I'm going to put it through the hole in the lantern. Okay. 
and tie those two pieces together. Same way as before, a little double knot towards the top. And pull tight. And then just cut off the little excess pieces. And there you go. You have your finished Chinese New Year well-wishing lantern. Gong hei fat joy, everyone.